Lesson 5 for July 27 through August 2, The Cry of the Prophets, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, July 28, The Recurring Call to Justice. Despite God's clearly detailed plan for the Israelite nation, the Israelite people rarely lived up to their calling. Not many generations after they were established in the land, they asked Samuel the prophet and judge to appoint a king to lead their nation, such as all the other nations have, as we read in 1 Samuel chapter 8 and verse 5. Question. Read 1 Samuel chapter 8 verses 10 through to 18. What was Samuel's warning to the people in response to their request for a king? 1 Samuel chapter 8, beginning at verse 10, Samuel told all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, This is what the king who will reign over you will claim as his rights. He will take your sons and make them serve with his chariots and horses, and they will run in front of his chariots. Some he will assign to be commanders of thousands and commanders of fifties, and others to plough his ground and reap his harvests, and still others to make weapons of war and equipment for his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards and olive groves and give them to his attendants. He will take a tenth of your grain and of your vintage and give it to his officials and attendants, your male and female servants and the best of your cattle and donkeys he will take for his own use. He will take a tenth of your flocks and you yourselves will become his slaves. When that day comes, you will cry out for relief from the king you have chosen, but the Lord will not answer you in that day. Samuel recognized this as a step toward being like the other nations in other ways as well. While Samuel sought to counsel the first king, Saul, it was not long before his prophecy began to become reality. Even at the height of the Israelite kingdom, David and Solomon did not escape the temptations, corruption and excesses of their power. Throughout the reigns of the kings of Israel and Judah, one of God's responses was to send prophets to speak his will and to remind the Israelite leaders and people of their God-given responsibilities to the forgotten members of their society. In the writings of the Hebrew prophets, we see a continuing and recurring call to live justly and to do justice in society. Confronting the unfaithfulness of Israel and its leaders, the prophets were a regular and urgent voice for the voiceless, particularly those who were hurt by Israel's failure to follow God's will. Reflecting on the passion of the Old Testament prophets, Abraham Joshua Herschel contrasts our complacency with their urgent calls for justice, writing in The Prophets, page 3 and 4. The things that horrified the prophets are even now daily occurrences all over the world. Their breathless impatience with injustice may strike us as hysteria. We ourselves witness continually acts of injustice, manifestations of hypocrisy, falsehood, outrage, misery, but we rarely grow indignant or overly excited. To the prophets, even a minor injustice assumes cosmic proportions. End of quote. What these prophets offer us is an insight into the heart and mind of God. Speaking on behalf of God, they can help us see the injustices and sufferings of our world through God's tear-filled eyes. But this passion is also a call to action, to work with God, to relieve and remedy the oppression and sorrow of those around us. So to finish the day, how do we sometimes seek to be like all the other nations, in ways that might be harmful to us and others? 
You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.